say beach erosion may only get worse with rising sea levels. Today, state inspectors toured beaches in Galveston and Surfside to see the impact of tropical storm Alberto, and we were the only station to tag along. Here's Jason Miles with what they found. Hay bales on the beach are not a typical sight, but bales used to help create dunes after Hurricane Ike are now once again revealed post tropical storm Alberta. Um, we had you know, a few places that had some um, damages to the dunes, but realistically, most of them did really well during the storm and held up. It's a beautiful day. Good, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Take care. The General Land Office enforces the state's open beaches and dune protection acts, and teams like this use photos and GPS data to track impacts after weather events. Angela Sunley is Deputy Director of the GLO's Coastal Resources Division. We document all of that information, and it aids us with looking at erosion hot spots where we may need to do projects. Their survey included both sides of San Luis Pass, close to where we shot this video last week amid the storm. Here in Brazoria County, Alberto washed debris onto the Blue Water Highway near Surfside Beach. Brazoria County now working with the state to try and build things back up. Preventing erosion may be more challenging with rising sea levels, according to global risk management firm Guy Carpenter. In Galveston alone, it says the water level has risen two feet over the last 100 years. The thing is, is that when you have this chronic change of sea level rise and you put those uh, storm surges on top of a higher baseline level, then you have a higher probability of inundation or flooding. That may mean addressing erosion more frequently and keeping the dunes doing their job. They're critical to protect public and private infrastructure. Um, they help us preserve not only the beach and stay on submerged lands, but also the property behind it. On Galveston Island, Jason Miles, KHOU 11 News.